So how's that for a cute little bunch of chicks? We hatched them ourselves. Hey guys, Chad from New England Homesteaders here. So about a month and a half, two months ago, I saw a lady advertising some incubators that she had for sale there. Um, Hova Bader 1602s, you can look them up. Uh, you can get them from Incubator Warehouse. They're about $200, $250 a piece, but she was selling them for $100 a piece, so I grabbed a couple of them from her, and I was dying to try them out. So several weeks ago, I think probably back around the end of February, uh, my friends Bobby and Shannon over at Quarry View Farm, you guys remember from an earlier video, I had gone away and I did some farm sitting for them, and I grabbed some quail eggs and chicken eggs that had likely been fertilized and brought them home. And I set 20 quail eggs and 12 uh, chicken eggs. And I'll show you the incubators, they work pretty well. And uh, we hatched eight quail, but four of them didn't make it. They had a, a splayed leg problem. And uh, we're doing some investigating to try to figure out if that's genetic or hereditary or uh, if it's due to sort of incubation problems. But of the 12 chicken eggs that we set, seven of them hatched. Uh, two of the chicks had some difficulty hatching, and despite everything I've read online, we actually helped them out of the shell. One of them uh, was pretty stuck in there. The, the inner membrane of the egg had really stuck to him, and he was basically glued into the shell. So we gave him a bath. Here's a picture of him right after his bath, and uh, he's doing great now. He's one of the little yellow ones that you just saw. Um, but so I did some investigation and quite a bit of reading and uh, I'll kind of walk you through how these work and the mistake that we made that I think caused the two of the chicks to get stuck in their shell. Uh, one of them didn't make it, the little black one uh, that was stuck in the shell didn't make it. I think he had some other issues. One of his legs uh, wasn't really formed properly, uh, but he was one of the ones that got stuck in the shell as well. So let me walk you through these and uh, tell you the mistake that we made. And... All right, so this is the Hova Bader 1602. Uh, this one has a built-in little computer uh, that measures the humidity and also has a fan uh, to circulate the warm air and there's a heating element in there and this also controls the temperature. Uh, it's just made out of styrofoam. It's a pretty heavy duty styrofoam, kind of like one of those, um, it's a heavier duty than the little coolers that you would get. Just got AC power uh, that plugs into the computer unit here. And then this is uh, one of the egg turners. There's a couple different styles. This one is, I guess, one of the older style ones. And the eggs sit with the pointy end down, if I remember correctly. And this motor turns very slowly, and each day uh, these rotate so that the eggs rotate back and forth. It's supposed to simulate what the mother hen does when she's sitting on the eggs to keep the uh, yolk and the embryo from fusing to the side of the shell, which will uh, prevent proper development of the chicks. Uh, but basically, this just sets down inside here, and in the bottom, there's a plastic tray, and the way this sits in here, you can see these little wells, and basically to start, um, you just kind of fill up uh, the center uh, tray with water, and that surface area helps uh, provide uh, the evaporation for the humidity control. And during the first 17 days or so, um, just kind of monitor the humidity to make sure it stays within the range. There's a chart you can read online. If I remember, it's somewhere around 50, 55% humidity. It's okay to err a little bit on the low side. But each day uh, we would just watch and if the humidity was a little bit low, we would just carefully open the side of this and pour some water into one of these wells. So this sets in on top, and then this egg turner sits here. If we turn this this way, you can see there's a little notch for the cable. And then we have it lined up so that those little wells are right under here, so that you can open and uh, just fill some water in there. So basically we set the clean chicken eggs in here. Uh, they were about a week old by the time I got them set, as long as you keep them in a cool place. Uh, they're supposed to remain viable for seven to ten days. Obviously, the sooner the better. Um, here's a picture of the eggs uh, that we set. A good mix of uh, probably barred rock, buff orpington, silky, and Americanas. I think they've got um, three roosters. They've got a sort of a, 
a barnyard Americana mix and a barred rock and a silky. So the chicks that you just saw are probably kind of a mix of those three. But once you've got this set up with the eggs in there, you just turn it on and this little computer controls the humidity or monitors the humidity and keeps the temperature upright within about 100 degrees. And on the 17th day, we opened it up and carefully removed the eggs from the turner and set them down flat. You fill up those four wells with water and that maintains the humidity. That's what's called sort of the lockdown phase. And you're not supposed to open it at all until the hatch is complete. Now I've read some places say you can open the thing each day as the chicks hatch and take them out. And after I think 24 hours, we had a couple of chicks had hatched and we went ahead and carefully opened that quickly and pulled them out. If any of the chicks have pipped, which is basically poked a small hole in the shell, when you open the lid and that humidity rushes out, it can cause sort of a vacuum and it um, caused the membrane of those shells to stick to the chicks. So that's unfortunately what happened to those two, but we rectified that and as you can see in the video and see right now, at least one of them, uh, the little yellow guy is, um, is doing great. So anyway, it's actually a really simple process. Um, you can get hatching eggs from a farm or obviously if you have a rooster, you can uh, choose uh, your own eggs to hatch. So we're pretty excited to have done this. It was just sort of a trial for us and um, it's pretty simple to do. Right now, as you can see, I'm just in a bedroom. This is my son's bedroom. He's away at college and we literally just set the uh, incubators up in here and put a little oil-filled radiator heater in here to maintain the temperature. You want the room to stay pretty um, consistent with temperature, so we set the room to 70 degrees, and for about 20, 25 days, uh, we had the heater on. Once the chicks hatched, and you can see we've just got sort of a sterilite container that we cut the top out of, and then just bought some chicken wire and some nuts and bolts and uh, screwed the lid on there. And this is actually the heater that we use. It's much better and safer than a heat lamp. There's plenty of stories and pictures and videos online of people that have burned down their barns or their farms with heat lamps. Uh, so this is a pretty good alternative. Uh, this one is probably good for up to about 15 or 20 chicks, I think. It's a 12 by 12. I think it's about $40. It's adjustable. Um, the height here, I think we just got this one on Amazon. So just simply by pushing on this little thing here, you can adjust the height of the leg. And as the chicks grow, you can uh, just raise that up for them. But it's pretty simple to do. And I'll tell you what, there's, there's nothing cuter than some baby chicks, except maybe baby ducks and baby goats. I'll give you a quick view of these guys. So these ones that have sort of the little chipmunk stripe, like that one right there and that one right there, those are definitely Americana mixes. And then this one here that looks sort of almost like a like a little duck color, uh, he might very well be a, or she or she, a little buff Orpington. And then same with this one right here. And then there's the little guy, that little one right there is the one who uh, got stuck in the shell and had the bath. So he's a little scrapper now and he's doing great. You can see he's a little smaller than the other ones. He's a day or two behind. And then these guys are the little quail and there's four of them. And they're already trying to fly. When they, uh, when they run, you'll see them uh, spread their wings and jump. They look like little, little fleas bouncing around or like a little flying fish when they run and start flapping their wings. Pretty cute. So it's still pretty cold outside. We're not going to be keeping these guys. We're moving in three months into our homestead. Uh, we're currently only allowed to have 10 chickens where we are here anyway. And it might be a challenge with limited space to try to get these guys integrated. I can't tell if that's a chick or a quail making that noise. Um, but we're actually going to uh, get these back to Bobby and Shannon this week and they will either integrate them or find homes for them. So that's about it guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, if you've never hatched chicks, uh, it's a really fun thing to do. Uh, the brooder that you see here behind with those accessories is probably less than 30 bucks. The heater was about 40 bucks. If you want to risk the heat lamp, you can pick those up for probably $10. 
um, but you know having them here in the house and the risk of fire hazard just wasn't worth it to us. So I uh, hope you guys are doing well. We are inside of 90 days uh, that we're moving into the cabin. There's so much to do here at the house to get it ready for market as well as getting the cabin ready for us to move in. And I'm still waiting for my tractor back. I uh, had problems with my truck. It's just one thing after another. Waiting for the snow to be gone. Uh, but we're getting ready to do some spring cleanup at the cabin. We're going to do the mushroom logs, get those uh, inoculated finally. Get the greenhouse and uh, some vegetable plants started. And in the next month or so, hopefully, we'll get the garden going uh, off to a good start. So hope you guys are doing well. Stay tuned, and we'll talk to you soon.